look at the minimal damage here. I mean, this is just, it's nothing. It's nothing, because they spent all their time trying to balance on here and falling off or getting their head smashed in by yours truly. It's just such a beautiful design. I love it. Uh, welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are about ready to start Horde Night. I've been live streaming um, here, and uh, so I'm going to record during the live stream. If you guys hear me talk to people, it's not because I'm crazy. It's because there's actual people watching me. Uh, but anyway, we are ready to go, and hopefully we can have a successful Horde Night. Um, I, I went uh, did a, another quest, got a little more money to get a little more concrete so we have enough to repair with. And yeah, uh, we should be good to go. I did a little bit of shoring up on the horde base, but it's mostly uh, the same as it was before. Okay, let's start bashing heads here. I'll keep you guys with me for a little while, but once things are running relatively smooth, we'll probably do time lapse and, and put some some awesome music on, like as usual. But let's just keep you with me for a little bit, and we'll see, you know, um, how things go. I'm not expecting any major issues. It is only Horde 14, but you never know, right? So we'll see what the, the game wants to throw at us. The thing I love so much about this pole design is, you know, they can't all bunch up on you. Uh, most of the time they'll fall off, so it just gives you a lot better control. Wow, she like reached 10 feet through and whacked me. We're going to have to stand back a little bit more. we got some 7.62s. I hear some banging going on over here. What the hell, man? You guys cut that out. Okay, we'll take you out at the knee. Oh, you're up there. All right, that's why we have a crossbow. How'd you like that? <laughs> right in his face. Right in his face. Get off the roof, you idiot. Okay. Um, oh, we should put our hammer down here. And... Yeah, he, he did very, very minimal damage to that. Okay, I'm not too worried about it. Okay, let's smash some more heads. So I'm hoping for, uh, I, I'm expecting to get at least one level tonight. We might even get two. We'll see how things go. I don't really start seeing the massive levels until I start using explosives. If you guys have seen my previous series, uh, you know, you know, man, we can get some serious levels with explosive designs. And I am planning on using, utilizing that again uh, when the time comes. But we're not quite there yet. So we're just, we're just doing melee for now, which is fine for Horde 14. Yeah, see, more more often than not, they fall down, and then it's great because they're not up, bunched up against this, trying to bust out, you know, our poles, and it's just really amazing crowd control. Um, I saw a Chemwish, Chemwish, I think you pronounce it, gamer do this for the first time, and ever since I saw that, I've I've been using this design. I just love it. Okay. We're getting some good head smashes here. I have uh, the second level in uh, sledges. Okay, take you out at the knee. Oh, we got a twofer there. Love it. I love it. All right, come on, Zombos. We are definitely on our way to the next level. If this keeps up, we might even get... We, I, I, we might get two levels tonight. We'll just see. You never know until it happens, right? Hey. Quit slapping me, man. Edgar, you missed. You know, they've changed... I just noticed something. They changed the horde music, too. It's different than it used to be. I don't have the music turned up too terribly loud, but I'm, I'm just kind of noticing that. Okay. Let's drink a coffee because our stamina is done. I do have maxed out sexy tea, so that is helping tremendously, of course. And when we get a kill like that, we get... 30 automatic stamina. Look at the loot coming in, man. This is great. I need to put a freaking loot chest in here. I'm going to be encumbered and won't be able to move. Hey, get over here. All right, let's check repairs. I mean, they're doing almost no damage, right? Because they just don't have time to. Just little, little touches, uh, touch-ups here and there. So it's a beautiful thing. Okay. Uh-oh. We might have a problem with the ramp. Okay, yeah, we have a problem with the ramp. Ah, shoot. That's something we're going to have to do something about. But I don't think I can do anything about it now, so... 
That could be a problem. If they take that front wall out, we lose our poles. Well, maybe not. Maybe they're just being stupid. Let's take Jiggly out there. Maybe they're... Hopefully they're just being stupid. Yeah, they're coming. Okay, we're good. I, I really probably better fix that ramp. I, I have an idea for it, too. Uh, right now, it's just a single block wide ramp. I gotta watch out, man. They're slapping me. What I think I might do is make a really wide ramp. So even if they break a couple of the blocks out, it doesn't completely break the pathway to us. Down with the sickness. Oh. Okay, so, so far, so good. They are... Some of them are staying down there, though. I wonder why, if the path is still working. Hmm. I guess the AI is trying to recalculate maybe a different route to me or something? The sledgehammer is just a beast in this game. I love it so much. Okay, you know what we need to do? Uh, we need to do this. <laughs> Look how full I am already. This is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna put this down here. Um, yeah, it, you, I don't like that. Well, we're just gonna, we're gonna have to do it this way for now because these blocks are facing inward. Okay, so let's put all this stuff in here quick. Uh, I'm going to keep the ammo. All right. Oh, wow. We missed him and took her took her arm off. All right. You know what? We've got lots of pain pills. Let's take one of those just to get our health back a little bit. I need to be just a little more careful. Uh, they are breaking shit down there, though, so I'm a little concerned, but we'll see how things go. We'll see how things go. Oh, he got us again. You know what? The thing is, is I don't have to stand as close as I am. It just seems like I do, you know? There we go. We got that next level. Uh, so we probably won't see two levels tonight just because they're not coming one after the other. But we're doing good overall. Ah, rats. We missed that loot bag. So, you know, I mean, as long as they don't take that whole front wall down... Um, I think we'll be fine. We're definitely going to have some damage down there we're going to have to deal with, but I'm not at the point where I'm going, oh shit, this is going to collapse. But we'll see. The, the night's not over. I mean, it's not even midnight yet. Ow! Damn it. The, uh, I can't use mollies in this base. It won't go through the hole, and I just end up burning myself. So, you know, when we... When we expand the base, we will definitely uh, design it so that we can use that kind of stuff. But right now, it's uh, it doesn't work. Okay, keep them coming, Zeeks. I need that XP. I wish I had. I don't have any nerdies either. That would help a lot for experience, but I just haven't come across them yet. Okay, let's guzzle another coffee. Get that stamina back. The thing about the sledge too is, man, you have to you have to time the hits because it takes such a long time to swing, and sometimes the zombies will pause and you you miss time it a little bit. But that's all right; it's just the way it is. See, we thumped her; we didn't kill her, but we hit her uh, while we smashed the head of the other Zeke. That looks like an uncomfortable position right there. Kind of sucks to waste a, a swing on the sledge because he uses so much stamina, but on the other hand, it has such a high proc rate, you know? I mean, look at that. Three in a row. Smashed heads. And I only have level two. Wait till we get this sucker maxed out, and then we'll just be a beast. So just past midnight. So far, so good. We might get that next level. We'll see. Somebody told me that after... Um, after day seven, the horde comes all night long. 
Um, which is a good thing as long as your base holds up, because then you get just that much more XP, you know? Oh, you know what we could do? Um, let's go... <laughs> Skull Crusher level 3! We're a Smasher now! Even better! Here, Edgar. See, we got a double on that one. Nice. Okay, that's a nice, decent amount of brass and some shotgun shells. I'll take it. Good stocking stuffer for Christmas. Off with his head. Yeah, I know. The swing, you have to swing so early, exactly. Yeah. Stay down, Edgar. Ooh, you got hit in the nuts, Edgar. Oh, we missed that one, and we missed that one, too. So far, we're doing pretty good on the stamina. I've only had to drink the coffee twice. Look at the loot coming in. Man, I'm almost tempted to take my... My, um... Whatchamacallits? Eye candies, but... It's, it's too random. They are breaking blocks down there, so it is a little concerning. Hopefully, we'll be okay. I'm very glad we took the time to reinforce this front here, because if we would have left it dirt, it would have been a different situation, possibly, you know? Smashing heads! Alright, well, guys, I think, um, I think we're gonna be okay. I'll keep the recorder running, of course. Uh, but I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put some uh, some tunes on, uh, time lapse this, and I will see you guys in the morning unless something disastrous happens before then. All right, let's do this. last all night is that after 14 that they last all night <laughs> your best water boy voice that's an awesome movie hey you move you mesmo how you doing my friend it's very good to see you it's done holy shit you guys we killed the horde already wow okay i wasn't expecting that um well we almost got a second level we almost got the second level, and we put uh, that next point that we got into Skull Crusher, so we're now a smasher. Um, all right, well, let's grab, well, actually, let's not grab the loot yet. I just want to make absolutely sure that we're safe. Uh, you know, safe being a relative term. So, yeah, let's drop down here. No, they, they didn't bust the ramp at all, but I still, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to dig out this whole wall and make this entire back thing a ramp. Then we don't ever have to worry about it. Oh, they didn't do that much damage down here. 
No, not at all, man. This is good. They Well, they did a number over on this side, but not enough to, you know, make a difference when it was all said and done. Very interesting. Yeah, you know, you wonder why the AI decides to change its mind. I mean, why didn't they just keep pathing like they normally do up, up here? Because I, I was wondering for a while there if maybe they had busted the ramp. But no, we're good, man. Holy crap, we are good. Okay, well, here. Um, I guess I don't have any cobblestone with me. So what we'll do is... Um, let's just repair the concrete stuff now. And look at look at the minimal damage here. I mean, this is just it's nothing. It's nothing because they spent all their time trying to balance on here and falling off or getting their head smashed in by yours truly. It's just such a beautiful design. I love it. I hope fun pimps don't ever do anything to break this because it just works so good. You know, just works so good. Okay, well, uh, yeah, we're gonna need to go get some cobblestone. And uh, let's. There's probably not anything more we can do co with concrete repair. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to have to go back to the base, get some cobblestone to fix all that stuff up. And I mean, there's not really hardly any damage on the stone either. But yeah, my thought is that we just dig this whole thing out as, as one big ramp. And then we never have to worry about them breaking the path back up. Because they'll just come up the back ramp and just cycle back around. Okay. Wow. That was, uh, that went very well. <laughs> <laughs> that went exceedingly well. I was planning on, you know, an entire night of Horde, but it's good and it's bad. It's good because we kicked the shit out of the Horde. Yay us. It's bad because, I, you know, we could have gotten another level and maybe even another half level if it would have kept going. But that's right. It will. It will. For sure. Okay, let's go back to the base. Drop some stuff off. We're going to have to do some inventory management. Uh, but what I will do is yeah i'm just going to do some inventory management tonight and go repair the base and then in the morning uh we have a treasure map that's 3.2 clicks out away from here i'm trying to decide if i want to do that now though because oh man that's going to be that's going to be such a pain in the ass to go all that way on a bike i don't know i'll see uh may, we might hang on to that until we get a motorized vehicle but anyway i'll see you guys in the morning and then we'll go from there all right guys we are back um the Horde uh, was a huge success and also a little bit of a disappointment because of the fact that we didn't get as much XP, but that's okay. Um, the important thing is we didn't die. And after that, the other important thing is that we didn't die. Okay, so at least we have our priority straight. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do this quest. I've decided not to do the buried treasure quest until we get a mini bike because that's just too far to go on a bicycle. Um, too, too, too much of a pain in the ass. Uh, so we're going to do this tier three clear. It's downtown filler 24. And it, for some inexplicable reason, is not showing up on the compass, even though it is act the active quest. So I know it's really close by here. Uh, what the hell, man? I stopped by the, the donut shop vending machine first thing in the morning as usual. And... Um, when we rode by here, I heard the thing make the noise that it makes, but it, I didn't activate it, so we should see an exclamation mark around here. Okay, so the rally point... Hold on. Let's do this. All right, what, what kind of shenanigans are going on here? Let's make this the active quest. And then make this remake this the active quest and show select quest does not have a location to show. It's broke. It's broke. All right, this is the second time this has happened to me where I took a quest and it's not actually there, uh, or not. Oh shit! There's a dog. Uh, it's not there. For, oh shit! For us to take. Nice doggy. I think we were coming like through here. I don't know. All right, well, whatever. I'm not going to mess with it. I don't want to waste the time. So we're just going to go back. We're going to cancel this quest, go back to Trader Joel, and just take a new one. That's the best thing to do. Is that dog still chasing us? Okay, no. Oh, who put that telephone pole there? So, yeah, let's just go get another quest, and then we'll we'll, we'll uh, 
start over. So, yeah, I was talking to the folks on the live stream here, and uh, what we're going to do, I, I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys or not uh, on the Let's Play, but what we're going to do for Horde 21 is I'm going to dig this whole entire back end out and make it all a ramp because I was concerned that they had broken this because they were staying, some of them were staying down there and breaking the blocks. Uh, but as you can see, they didn't even touch us. I didn't even have to repair this ramp at all. But I think just to be, you know, on the safe side, that's what we're going to do. And really the only other change I'll probably try and do if we can get it done by 21 is upgrade the whole thing to concrete if we can get that far. So we need to be thinking about that in terms of, you know, some of our next points that we're going to take because we're going to have to spec in to intellect a little ways to get, you know, to get into the concrete. Unless we can luck out and find a cement mixer. Uh, I'm 100% positive I checked this, but let's, yeah, it's destroyed. In fact, I don't think I've found a single working crafting station anywhere in Alpha 20 since I've started playing it. They're all just broken. So, yeah. All right, dude, your quest is broken, so what we're going to do is we're going to cancel it and then take a new one from you. Okay, so we got uh, fetch and clear and a clear. Um, let's. What's this? You think you can help a bank, yeah. Problem. Let's do a bank. No matter what, I'm grateful for everything. Okay, so we don't have to get a satchel. We just have to kill everything on this one. Cool. Um, you know the funny thing too is, with the new questing system. Everything is a lot closer to the trader, which is absolutely wonderful. But one of the things that was good about when they were further away is it kind of forced you to explore and uncover the map a little more. And I'm not saying they should bring that back because I like it the way it is now, but it's just kind of funny because I really have not, you know, if you look all the way down the street to that, I guess what you would call it an overpass, I haven't, haven't been past that point yet <laughs> in this whole playthrough because everything is just so close by. Uh, but that's all right, though, because we've got a whole bunch of POIs in this really close area that we still haven't been in yet. We've only maybe been in 5% of them, I would say. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Let's get our questing, get into questing mode here, which means I need to be careful. Like, that's going to happen, right? Um. So, let's see. We don't need to take the wrench in there. Uh, oh, shit. I was going to make a bunch of lock picks because we did take the point. Well, let's just go with the nine for now. I'm going to leave those in the bike, and we'll come back out and get them after we finish the quest if we find a safe or something that we need to use lock picks on. Um, we'll take the pick and the axe with this. Um, uh, yeah, maybe we better keep the steroids with us. I'm going to keep these in here because we got two big ones. Excuse me, uh, two big ones that we can use there. Okay, I think we're good to go. Everything is relatively, uh, in relatively good shape. Uh, let's make sure everything's cocked, locked, and ready to rock. And let's do this. Okay, this is a clear, and it's a bank, too. Let's kill some zombos. Let's remove these triggers. All right, so they're going to be able to... Get out the side, so let's at least make sure we, you know, restrict them to the central area. I'm going to turn my light off, too. Yeah, this is dangerous because there's, you know, su such an open space, and it's really hard for us to control the flow. Let's go in here. We got some leather that we can come in here and harvest later. All right, is it just you? Shh. Be quiet. Don't make any noise. See, we're perfectly fine with one zombie at a time, but it's just it's just that it seems like more often than not, you wake one up and then all of a sudden there's four, you know what I mean? So I want to be as quiet as possible, he says as he breaks some glass. And making a loud noise. There's a safe. Okay, we'll come back and try and open that later. Uh, it's too dark. I got to keep the light on. Sorry. I know it makes this a little more detectable, but I'm trying to make a video here. We can't make dark videos. 
Okay, so anybody in? Okay, we got our, We got two red dots. Probably right up above our head there. Anybody in the bathroom? There's probably one zombo in here. Okay, so we have two Zeeks out that way. We should be able to deal with them. Let's get rid of that stuff. We have to wait for business guy to despawn so we can put the block down. Wait, are they even at this door? Oh, they're at that door. Oh, uh, okay. We got two Jigglies. Oh, I didn't time that very well. Okay. That's right. It, it, it uh, worked out in the end, mostly. <laughs> I think we did get tagged once. All right, let's go in here. We're not going to loot the real basic stuff. As usual, I'll do that later. Uh, okay, there's the second wall safe. It almost makes me think this is a bank or something. Um, oh, did we check for toilet pistols? We can't check the commodes for toilet pistols, but sometimes you can sneak right under here. Nope, we can't get at it. Why did they make it so we can't get to the toilets easily? Okay, no toilet pistol. Okay, so two safes that we have to come back for. And I think that clears the bottom floor, I think. This is... I don't think that's leather. I think that's cloth. All right, let's go upstairs. The zombies... Um, I, I mentioned this, I think, earlier, too, but the zombies are not... They're a lot more well-hidden now, so it's really hard to get sneaky sneaks off on them because you can't see them until you know you've aggroed on them all right if you're gonna be stupid oh guess who had didn't have his crossbow loaded hold still all right forget it I can't hit him when he keeps moving every time I pull the trigger Okay. That was a little rough. That was a little rough. Um, We really have to watch our health. You know what? Let's not take any chances. You know what I always say, right? A, a, a medipack in the hand is better than two in the... Never mind. Okay, let's just move on here. I kind of butchered that one, didn't I? Man... Well, we got a we get a crossbow bolt back at least. Is there any more stuck in the wall over here? Uh don't think so. Okay. Any wall safes or anything behind here? No. Alright, let's move on. We're back to full health now. So we'll see how long that lasts. Ooh, look, we got a working vending machine. Hot damn. Uh yeah. Let's take advantage of that. We'll take a yucca juice smoothie. Uh, jailbreakers, actually, because we have two safes, so why not, right? Yeah, that was a nice find. Okay. So let's go check over in the corner. Is this another laboratory? That's the toity. That toity's kind of close to the door, man. Anybody sitting on here doing their business, their feet's going <laughs> to... Our feet are going to stick out the stall door. Oh my gosh, that's funny. That's just hilarious. I don't know. I just think it's funny. I don't know. You guys think that was funny? I thought it was funny. Okay. All right. Here we go. Third floor. We got this, you guys. We got this. What could possibly go wrong now? See, there's no zombies up here. 
We got this. Okay, we got a red dot in that office there. Um, I'm I'm trying to train myself to watch the ceilings because I can't tell you how many times zombies have dropped out of the ceiling on top of my head. Okay, we got a couple waters. Oh shit, I hear that dog outside. We probably should have dispatched that thing. Um, you know, back to my comment about how it's really hard to to see the zombies to get sneak shots off on them. That's really going to change the uh the uh, agility build in this game and how you play that build. See, I see Ronnie McDonnie in there, but I don't have a clear shot off on him. All right. Let's get rid of that. There's another safe. Okay, so we have three safes to open, which we'll be able to do with the safe cracker. Is that Ronnie McDonough or is that businessman? I think that's businessman. Here, let's turn our light off. We might be able to pull this off. Everybody be really quiet. Shh. Don't make any noise. I can't take me anywhere. Oh, he's feral. That's not good. That is not good at all. You have no business being feral, man. What the hell? Whoo, that was dangerous. That was... <laughs> I can't believe... No, I can believe my crossbow wasn't loaded. I absolutely can believe that my crossbow was not loaded. Um, yeah. I can believe it. I believe. I believe. Okay, that's... That was a feral, you guys. That's kind of scary, man. I'm just going to throw that out there. That was kind of scary. Okay, what else is going to happen up here? I probably shouldn't tempt fate by saying shit like, what What could possibly go wrong? Well, a feral in an un- Oh, shit! Unloaded crossbow could go wrong. He's dead. I hear that dog outside. A little bit concerned about it. Ooh. Look what's up there, you guys. There's a weapons bag up in that thing. It doesn't look like we can get at it from here. Is that not lootable? What the hell? Did they change these? That looks lootable. Ah! Okay. Um, how strong is this? Not strong at all. That's a bit of an upgrade. I'll take it. Still a pipe rifle, but it's just slightly better than the one we have. So let's take this off. Put this back on. Stick this on our toolbar. Load it up. And then say, say hello to my little friend. 